Hey, what's up, everybody? We Man here with another episode of Little Revolution. Woohoo! Of course, I have my co host, yeah. partner in crime, uh, Pacha Bowler. Yeah. We're here to rock out with our cocks out. There you go. No. You already said being sexual. We weren't supposed <laughs> to talk about sex stuff. Poncho brought it up today. He said, let's mm. not be sexual today. And in, in his intro, he goes there. Oh. <laughs> Texas. No. God. There you go I can't again, even do dude. this. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. you probably noticed we relocated again. Just for the day. Just for the day. Mm -hmm. Two episodes. Mm -hmm. This one, it's just going to be Poncho and I. The next one, we have a guest. And that's it for this location. Why did you just want to do it, me and you, today? Uh, I feel like our audience likes that. We need to, They need to catch up a little they bit. They want to catch up with us. Yeah. This is our podcast. Yeah. And the fans feel like, you know, when we have guests here and they learn about the guests, they get a little bit of us in between the guests. Mm -hmm. But I can tell they want, they want to know what's going on in Poncha's life. They want to know what's going on in Wee Man's life. Absolutely. I've been very... I've been away from social media lately, and the only social media posts I've done is uh, our posts. Mm. And then when I was just in New Orleans with Brad, I did a couple fun posts with Brad Williams. Um, that was cool. We'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, I feel like our guests, they, they tune in because they love hearing us. Yeah. Like a lot of guests come up to me and they say, man, just listening to you guys and hearing you laugh and stuff like that is awesome. Yeah. And it got me thinking, you know what? We need to get back to an episode of Just Us Two. Absolutely. And I, I agree. Like, and I was like, you know what? The world needs to hear a little bit about what's going on with Punch lately and also me. Yeah. So, no, no, for sure. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of the guests, too, that, that, that respond, at least to the comments and stuff, and even friends and friends of friends always tell me, dude, I love your guys' podcast because... You don't know what you're going to get. It's <laughs> yeah. always like a different guest from a different walks of life. You know, it's not just skaters or. Yeah. You know, no, I they they tell me that, too. And you can see by the response in the comments and stuff. People are amazed at who we can get. And they're always like, how'd you get that person? Or, oh, yeah. How yeah. do you know? You know, and it's like it's there's two of us and we have a connect. We have some connection. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I agree with that. Um, so speaking of which, what have you been into? We had Gigi on mm -hmm. and you did a movie with her recently, yeah. but then you also just did another movie. Like, yeah, you, I just you, did another movie. You've been working on a couple movies lately. Yeah, no, it's been going good. And, uh, uh, I just went, I just came back from Vegas. I went and shot a movie out there. It's uh, a horror comedy, but more comedy. It's almost like a... <sighs> Like a tenacious D meets super bad, you know, but 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 more horror style. It's it's very raunchy comedy, which is one of the things I fucking love. And yeah, to be able to like be a character on there and 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 have most of my dialogue be funny shit like that, and they allow us to improvise. And you know, is it like, like is it like Wayne's Brothers style horror comedy? No, no, it's 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 more like Jay and Silent Bob style kind of doing like a that. horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Jay and Silent Bob doing a horror movie kind of. I think that's now, now I it. get it. Now yeah, I get it. And, what you're and doing. the characters are outrageous. It, it was just so much fun to be able to do shit like that because I'm always, I always play these super asshole fucking womanizing character that like just kind of like verbally abuses everyone you know and strip kind of club owner strip club strip owner club yeah owner. like piece of shit you know like so it was really cool to kind of get out of that and 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 create something more fun that that's more me yeah no uh that's awesome how was how was filming out in vegas it was dope dude like i mean i've only been out there to like the the like the casinos to like kind of just hang out with buddies and get drunk it was kind of neat to go out there and just kind of be on the other side of that and be actually out there working on a project. And we were at some pretty cool locations and shit that like, like people, like the people that are rich out there are, are like just stupid rich. And uh, that yeah. locations that we were shooting at, like, like it's what you were saying, like their money out there is worth way more than it is out here. Oh yeah. You and like the, the house that we were shooting at, it was this ridiculous house that had like, 
one room was a huge room with just pinball machines, old school pinball machines, Whoa. just beautifully lit up. They had like, it was an arc. He had a straight up arcade room. Then they had like a like a movie room, like a theater. They had this insane pool with this waterfall and. It, it, it's like what? he's like you got to be out to the parties that i throw here i'm like dude if i was single <laughs> jesus christ oh there i got no <laughs> i would love to come here with my wife and enjoy my time sir <laughs> no it was it, yeah, was, right. it was really really fun we had a blast awesome who like was one of the producers was it their house or did they rent the house? No, no. Uh, one of the guys that was in the movie, who's in uh, my buddy Sky, who's in this movie called The Greasy Strangler, it came out like in 2016. It's like a cult classic uh -huh. for like the, the the fans, and he does all kinds of horror conventions, and it's just people that he's met along the way that are huge fans of his. Yeah. One of them happened to be just filthy rich, and it was like, "Hey, I got a spot for you guys to film. If you ever in Vegas filming, I got the place." And uh, so he definitely just kind of utilized that his uh, his connections, and we were able to get a pretty dope spot. Like that's that. awesome! So good. Yeah. What about um, you? You were just filming something. Yeah, I was in New Orleans. You, I was really jealous, dude. I'm like, like "Fuck, dude!" He's like out there. Like my wife saw it. Yeah. She's like, I could see it in your eyes that you're jealous that Jason's out there. Him and Brad are like always together, <laughs> running <laughs> dinners and, and at, at basketball games. And I'm like, what's, I'm what, like, damn, dude. Like, <laughs> what's funny is Brad's married, too. Yeah. And his wife would call and uh, I would be there and she goes, oh. Your new boyfriend. Oh, Jay, wow. you and, <laughs> what are you and your new boyfriend up to yeah. now? Oh, I mean, we had the town. Like, we ran the town differently when you and I were out there. Well, because we were both, like, we were just both. younger, we younger, single, single, and, wasted. And, and wasted. Yeah. Younger, yeah, younger, single, and just wasted. wasted. It was a different time. Yeah. Brad and I went out, and we'd have, like, I'd have, like, a glass of wine. Uh -huh. And we were eating. The, the first night we went out there, we went out to this fancy, like, seafood restaurant, oysters, uh, you know. Pool boy, uh, crawfish pool boys, like it was like food galore. Oh, it looked like insane. That one of the the videos that you guys posted, I was like, damn, that food Dude. looks so good. Oh, that was uh, and what it was just a chef that was like, come to my restaurant. Yeah, I will the feed chef you. invited us to this like five star Michelin, like not five star Michelin, but a Michelin restaurant that was five stars. How did you meet the chef? He he messaged Brad and he goes, hey, you guys are in town. And Brad's like going through it and he goes, yeah, come to my restaurant. I'll take care of you. Dude, we had a, a ribeye, a uh, bone-in uh, tenderloin, uh, lobster tails and bone marrow come out on this like I've never had wooden one. plank. Bone marrow? What is that? You are never you, had like, bone are marrow? Are going like this with the like? Yeah, it's the stuff inside okay. the bone. Like they bring the whole bone, they cut it and bone marrow is like. It's kind of like gooey. Okay, it's good it, for you though. Yeah, right? you scrape. It's very good. You for You spread it over toast or something. You spread it okay. over toast, and you eat that. And I mean, people were in the restaurant seeing all this food get served to us, and we're like, "Oh, we want to order that. We want to order." It. Like people weren't looking at yeah. the menu; they were looking at what we were eating, and we were just we were sitting there selling plates to everyone else. I'm surprised you didn't go and take take a little taste of the town. Just a little one. Just a little, mean, oh, like little walk down fucking Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Street. No. Just you and Brad. Just a little tiny well, one. Well, we took a taste when we went to lunch one time on Canal Street. Okay. And Canal Street is like Hollywood Boulevard. And Brad and I are walking there like two sore thumbs. Oh, God. And fans are coming out of everywhere like for us. And I'm looking at the host going, Get us into the yeah, restaurant. but that's during the daytime though. No, yeah, but, but it's the nighttime same at is night. a, it's a different vibe at night. Didn't matter when you're a little dude. Yeah, but the people were and drunk you. Yeah. too. The people oh, really? were already <laughs> drunk at two in the afternoon. It's okay. like, hey, Brad and we man, you know, wasted. Yeah, I bet, man. But yeah, no. And then we went to a basketball game out there. That must have been fun. That was fun. Brad did some comedy while he was out. How was, was that? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Did you have fun? I went. I was like, dude, you're doing I'm gonna come. I'm going. He did two nights, I only went one. Yeah. I didn't need to see a repeat. Yeah. Um, but it was good. I love his comedy. His comedy's good. I fucking love it. 
And I was going to say, when you were out in Vegas and you were filming a movie, why didn't you go do any, like, quick spots? Well, because the one night that I that uh, I could have gone to it, we, we shot all the way till 3.30 in the morning. Oh, and it was dang. like the night that I could have possibly gone and done a spot at one of the, the clubs there. But yeah, yeah, I was like, fuck, man. Dude, Brad and I were in New Orleans for seven nights. We only had to film one day. Damn. The next day after we got there on a set, we went Sunday to Sunday. When we got there uh, the first day on Monday, all we had to do was go try on wardrobe. And our wardrobe were these druids, like, pull over. What's a druid? The druids, like a, uh, they're, they're like from Star Wars or whatever. Okay. With the, with the hoods. Okay. Yeah, they're, like, very ancient. Okay. So we, all we wore were these robes with hoods. And all we had to do was try them on to make sure they fit us. So it's just your eyeballs? No, you see your Not whole that, face. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we went and tried those on. Took 20 minutes. Yeah. That was our day. We had the rest of the day. And you also got to work. Uh, we're not going to mention any names, but, but you got we, to work with some big pretty, time people. Big time people. Like yeah. big time. It was awesome. Not even one name? No, I'm not no, dropping not any one. names. Okay. Yeah, because this, this movie just started filming, and I want them to promote it first. Yeah. But people will know. It was yeah. pretty cool. Nice. And working with Br- me and Brad, like we were thinking, like it would if you were if if it wasn't one of us, that it would have been cool if it was you. Cause then we still would have hit yeah. the town, but we were thinking if it was some other little person, yeah, I would have been so bored out of my mind, dude. You I know bet. what I mean? That's what we, uh, um, I was telling Jason earlier that when I used to do the radio city Christmas, Christmas spectacular with the Rockettes, they always hired like, like, like six little people. And it's like six little people from all over the U S and most of the little people, like I, we didn't have anything in common, but being small and they would just come from a whole different part of the world as far as like, like what the, the, the kind of things that we're into, like they weren't feeling anything. So I was mostly always hanging out by myself or with like some of the other cast members and they were all on their own and stuff. It was, yeah. And so I know what you're saying. It's yeah. like, you just, we were just like, I was like, if Brad was like, dude, if you weren't here, I don't know what I'd be, I'd be just like, you know. And we we made it a point to like make sure we hit the town and did things. But we did drive down Bourbon Street one afternoon to go to the nice restaurant that was like mm-hmm. a couple blocks away. And I'm like, dude, imagine us walking this street. People were already like, it was like five o'clock at night, and people it's still sunny out. People are like, just in the middle of the street. Oh, just, I bet. Like shit, we're sober. And so is it always Mardi Gras there, dude? It's like when it, it turns feels dark. Like it. It really? feels like it's always Mardi Gras there. And people are still carrying beads, the freaking like the the mindy racer drinks, you know? Yeah. And you're just like, no way, dude. Mm. But yeah, did that and then uh actually right now while we're filming this, I'm in the middle of moving. Mm. Got a new spot. So Yeah, bigger. you're telling me about going, it. going a little bigger. Nice. Extra bedroom, extra bathroom, better view. Just totally stoked. That's cool. So you got a, a view of the bay. Got a view of the back bay mm. out in Newport Beach, living with the fancy people. <laughs> nice. Dude. Bringing a little roughage to the fancy people. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but there's all kinds of like trails and shit. Like there's hiking right by. Yeah, you. hiking, nature. Like my buddy and I went to my place, and as we walked in, the balcony windows were open and stuff. And he's like, dude, a hawk just kind of like cruised by your your spot. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, that's how they roll. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. And then uh, <laughs> I still can't stop thinking about last night. Oh, yeah. The podcast. Me and Jason went and did a <laughs> podcast. Like uh, we went on uh, some other people's podcasts. This guy, Leo and Danny. Oh, it's not Leo and Pedro? No, it's not. No, it's, <laughs> Leo, it's and Leo and Danny's <laughs> podcast. And uh, they're younger dudes. And they yes. were just so excited to have Jason on there. Like, they grew up on Jackass. And it was just it was, it was just a different age gap, different, like, different mentality. Like, how how uh, young dudes are nowadays. Like, you know, like, the, the I'm young- married, so I don't really hang out too much with my skater buddies even or any of that. So it was like a different... 
vibe and mentality, especially like with dudes that are like influencers or trying to be influencers. That world is just so crazy I, to me. It is. And it's crazy to me, especially with the younger generation, that how they operate, how they yeah. do things. Well, I we, yeah, because we showed up on time. Like I'm very militant about things. Yeah. I'm like on time and we're ringing the bell. And they're trying to unlock the door, and the door's just... And, I mean, we're there for 10 minutes. Yeah, like, like, like it was a weird... like Let we us would, in. Let us in, and then they would, like, press a button. It would... it would, it, it, it There would be, like, a, a, a zapping noise, and then we would go to get in, and it would still lock. And it was, like, this for, like, 10 minutes. We're like, anyway. are we being filmed right now? What the fuck is going on? And they had a ring, so I kept, like, pushing the ring and just looking in the camera, like, okay. And they're like, oh, no, we're coming down, we're coming. And then we, wa we walk in... And Chief Broom. Yeah, like this Native American dude like answers the door. If any of you have ever seen uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson, one of my favorite movies, the Chief, Chief Broom, that's who pretty much answered the door. Like on his us. son. His yeah. son answered. And we're sitting there and, we're, and he's like, hey, guys, what's up? And we're like, hello, we're here for the, oh, you're here for the podcast, huh? It's like, it's over here. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we're. Th then he's like, take your shoes off. We're like, fuck. Yeah, we're at. <laughs> they turn their house into a podcast, but you have to take your shoes off. Uh. No, dude. <laughs> Punch was like, glad I wore socks today. <laughs> but, but the whole no, yeah. The the part where we walk into the podcast, and they're already going. Like we don't even start like that. We bring our guests, and you know. Yeah, no, they have a different. And way. they were, and they're like, oh, our guests are here. Just come on in. But these young dudes, like what we were trying to say is like, like the influencer, younger generation, like it's all about like plowing pussy and how much, how much girls you could get. And that's kind of what I got out of it. Cause that's a lot of the stuff they wanted to talk about, which, you know, we're dudes. We'll talk about that stuff. But it was just like, Jesus Christ, you guys like, this that's is it. like every weekend for them or every night. Every night, it seemed yeah. like it seemed like they went. They were they were, they were going hard every night for they sure. Were like good you, dudes, you're trying too hard. Yeah. We're, there was a little bit of trying too hard. Speaking of the influencers, I forgot to mention this on on the trip with Brad. Mm -hmm. So Brad and I went to a basketball game, and who was playing? It was uh, New Orleans Pelicans against the L.A. Clippers. Who won? New Orleans. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. I'm a Clippers guy. I love I'm Clippers. Not, I'm not. I'm a Lakers guy, dude. Okay. Well, whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. No, you can't. You, you, but are yeah. You, but, okay. But are if you, you're somewhere are you, else, no. you're, you're, you're not going to go for the Clippers if the Lakers aren't playing. It's an L.A. team. It's where you're from. I know, but you're still a Lakers boy, dude. Okay. Still right. a Lakers boy. Damn, that's kind of rough. And, and when we were in New Orleans, New Orleans catered to us. They they brought us in their home. We, we got to go to the game early. And hang out with the team, and I don't care if New Orleans wipes your ass, dude. You still got to go for the Clippers, bro. No way. I'm not a Clippers fan. <laughs> I'm an L.A. Lakers fan. Dude. That's, that's Lakers. diehard Lakers. Yeah. So what about when it comes to football? Is it if like the? I know that you're a you're a Rams guy. No. You're your Chargers guy. No. Oh. I really, I don't have really have a football. Oh team. Yeah, yeah. Neither do I. I got a hockey team, the Kings. Yeah. I love the Kings. But and then I love the Lakers, but those are my those are my and okay. the Dodgers, those are my three L.A. teams. The Dodgers, Doyers, Doyers, Lakers, and the Kings. Mm. Those are my teams. Football, kind of wherever, because I got friends in with different teams. Do Chiefs? Well. You're a Chiefs guy. I'm not a Chiefs guy. Preston's a Chiefs guy. But if you're and with I, Preston, and I love hanging out with Preston, and yeah. going to Chiefs games with You'll him. You'll support him. I'll support him. Yeah. But on that, so we're at the Pelicans game, and we're having a good time. No joke, there was this 22-year-old chick. I'm, I'm giving her the age because that's what she seemed like. And this, like, 70, 80-year-old dude, like, mm -hmm. together. Not talking. And the reason was... Like it was his granddaughter? No. <laughs> oh, it was like his it was sugar daddy. Full sugar full daddy. Sugar daddy. Full sugar daddy. Like, 80-year-old dude, sugar, sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. She's sitting there doing her influencer stuff, like, on her phone. Oh, my God. You're thinking, like... Five, At 10 the game. minutes, 20 minutes. No, she did it the whole game. So she wasn't even watching the game. No, she was watching it through her recording. But then, you know, she would talk and then she would turn it around and sh she would kind of show the game, but she would show it on the Jumbotron and then this and that. 
we're not I'm not kidding. We were like a couple of rows from her and we were and we we're like, this is insane. Fourth quarter, she finally pulls out another camera, like a like a camera what? on a selfie stick, filming herself. Oh, she had a light too. She had a light. So on she was like it. famous in her own world. She oh. was she was so fucking famous. Yeah. I'll like give every it. other kid in the, I'll now give it today's to her. time. I'll give Everyone it to Everyone is her. famous. I'll give it to her. Yeah. She was hot. Right? Oh, of course. But, but doing that brought her down. She was like a nine. Brought her down to like a seven. Because Were other people that. annoyed too? Like, oh, could you tell that everyone else was annoyed? Everybody was annoyed. And here's, here's the best part of it. So fourth quarter, the kiss me, you know, jumbotron cam comes yeah. around. Gets Brad and I, because we're like in the first row right after the seats on yeah. the floor. So we're up. And we're we're like just, the, get we, the two midgets. Yeah. yeah. Get the two midgets. Yeah. They're they're get the two famous midgets, you know, yeah. like and we're there. doesn't happen that much. Everybody's loving it. And, <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, this is boring. So you guys are on it. We're on it. I can tell. Camera's in front of us. And I'm, we've been doing it for a second. I'm like, oh, fuck. I can't ruin this moment. I grab Brad's head and I walk and just give a big kiss. On the cheek, like a smashy bitch. Oh, dude, kid. I'm jealous. I'm fucking jealous. Everybody right? was like, Rah! so the audience People, is fucking oh, just loving, loving it. it. People are texting, "You guys are on the kiss me cam," like, and I'm like, yeah. They go right to her next because she's go to like her. Yeah, she's like ten feet from us. Okay, because she's she wants the attention too. Oh, of course, and she's, she's right like, hey, there. I'm, yeah, and the guy, the you know, camera dude's like, oh, fucking hot chick over here, like twenty two year old gold digger right here. <laughs> <laughs> they put her on and the whole section I think it was probably even more but all we heard was boo so she didn't even kiss her dude no didn't kiss what? her she turned around and just like she was still filming herself like while on the jump while on the jump and the place was just booing like boo boo Brad got a photo he was sitting a little closer and he had an angle and he shot a photo of her holding the camera in one hand and the phone in the other. Dude, if there was ever a time to throw, and you should never do this, but if there was ever a time to throw a milkshake at somebody, that's would have been that time. That's the that, time. That would have been fucking, <laughs> what a self-absorbed just, oh, I, I don't even were, want to say it. We were dying. Even, I've never seen it that bad. At a game, though. Like, at a game. Like, they should do something like, hey, guys, you know. Put your phone away. It's distracting. Enjoy dude. the game. No, not just phone. She had camera with a little light on it, mm. a mini light, too. That's what I feel like even, like, with, like, well, that sucks. Yeah. How, all right. How would how weird would it have been if Brad, of course, you didn't know that was happening, and you went to grab his face to kiss him on the cheek, and, like, he turned, like, not knowing what you were doing, and you guys just fucking mouth kiss, like, you know. Well, then not only would we have been on the Jumbotron and TV, we would have been on TMZ. You guys would have won a whole Two. different audience, dude. <laughs> yeah. You guys would have just won over a whole different audience. <laughs> yeah, you guys would have been dude, on TV. Dude, There's two TV. dudes from Two. L.A. go here. <laughs> Brad's <laughs> wife would have been calling him. What the fuck? This doesn't sound like you guys are making a movie. All you was, guys yeah. have been doing is going out every night together. Holy shit. <laughs> that would have been funny. Fuck, I, I, I don't know what I, I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to say. I was in the moment. <laughs> I, it'll come back to me. No worries. But yeah, it was it. The, all the, other than that, it was a great time. We had fun. Oh, this is what I was going to okay. say. It, it's have you ever had like like a friend that's like, hey, I went to a concert. And you're, and he's like, check out what I got, and they, and they try to show you their video of them filming the person on stage. Yeah, and it just looks like shit. It sounds yeah. like shit, and everyone has their phone up doing yes. this, and yes. everyone is doing the same exact yes. thing. Like they're not even enjoying it. No. It just, it's terrible. Why didn't you just buy the DVD? Yeah, you they fucking idiot. Like, and you would have been, you would have got better footage. <laughs> yeah. No, we were talking about that too. And what we were saying is, okay, you go with your friends to a concert. You love the band, yeah, right? You get a little, you you take the photo of you there, the selfie yeah. with whoever you're with. Get that photo, yeah, nailed it. One photo, that's all you need. You get two videos. You get a little 15, 30 second clip of the popular song the band plays. Everybody knows. You hear the crowd singing. Do a little clip of that. You get one more. Your favorite song. That's it. 
Put the that's phone too away. Much. That no, that's that that's where I'm saying that's okay. that's the limit. That's maximum. Yeah. After that, put your phone away. Enjoy the moment you're in. Like live life and you're at the concert. Take it in. I guess I just look at it in a way like when when before no. the phones were around where people would just go there and enjoy it and just just enjoy the that's every what I'm part talking of about. it. But now, now it's that, like now it's, that there it's all is. about like look at where I'm at. Look at what I'm watching. And they're not at, and they're not even having yeah. as much fun. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's maximum. Mm -hmm. One photo, two 30 second clips that you are done. You have you have gotten everything you need. You don't need any more. What, what's more going to show? More is not going to show anything else. Yeah. More is not going to show you're having more fun. Nothing. It's zero. You're there. Enjoy the moment. Absolutely. Have it have it to tell the story. Like, we were there, dude. Oh, man, you should have seen this drunk guy run down and get clipped by the chain in front of him because he didn't <laughs> see it. Yeah. Wham! Smash his face. That's a better story to tell than, oh, yeah, I was there and filmed everything. Yeah, this I know. This band. Yeah, I've seen the band before. We don't need your footage. Yeah, I know. All the cameras I see lit up, too, they all got the same footage as you. Same yeah. song. Yeah. And it <laughs> looks like shit. It yeah. sounds like shit. You're like, yeah. No, I we were talking about then. That's it. That's max what you should do. So, any bands you've gone to seen lately? I haven't gone to see, like a mute uh, like a concert in a long time. No, last concert I went to was at like the Hollywood Bowl. Who was it? I went and saw Def Leppard and Journey. Oh, oh that's which a was good a pretty one. good concert. I also saw Roger Waters there. Oh, that's but it was when too. I lived by there, so we could walk to it. I yeah. lived on Fuller Street, so we walked. Cause it, it gets chaotic up there, like as as far as parking and driving up there. Yeah. When there's huge concerts like that, you're like, "Fuck this." Speaking of up there, you yeah. and I spent the night up there yeah. last night. Yeah. Last night. at the hotel right down the street. Yeah, that would have been a per. That's a perfect hotel to stay at yeah. if you're going to a concert there. I've I've gone to concerts at the Hollywood Bowl and stayed at that hotel. What concert well, did you go to? I've seen Black Sabbath there twice. Whoa. Yeah, Black Sabbath. Who opened up for them? Um, or were they just solo? No, there was a one band. I can't, I I didn't even, it wasn't enough for me mm -hmm. to remember. But I was there just for Black Sabbath, and they were both great. Did you go by yourself? No, I actually went with Chet Thomas and oh, Steve nice. Black. Those guys. That like, sounds like a fun group. Dude, it was a great group. We were Steve drink, Black is fucking we, great. We were drinking wine and just having a great time. I've been hanging out with Steve Black a lot lately i went on my i i i rode for america for like a, a second yeah it was more so tim o'connor rode for them and and then like I, I was getting hooked flow. up a little bit flow but like i went on a tour with them it was wild man dimitri was on that tour oh that is he, that's rad. when i got the cover of the big brother magazine doing the blunt slide on the curb yeah that's who took it dimitri that was an america tour that's the American yeah, tour. Yeah. You were dressed up you yeah. were a poncho wearing a poncho yeah 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 and a, and a sombrero yeah you were a poncho wearing a poncho. Yeah, that and was right cigarette. in front of our hotel. It was fun, man. That's rad. Dimitri was fucking funny, dude. That that curb was all like painted up pretty rad. Yeah, right? that was uh we waxed the shit out of it, but it didn't even need it. It was just perfect. Yeah. That's rad. But yeah, Steve Black's a cool dude, man. Yeah. He comes to our Menudo Sundays. Oh really? Yeah. He's I remember Tim O'Connor, dude. Like that dude Black, Steve Black, I mean we we were all raging, but that dude would get like extra drunk. And I remember Tim O'Connor, <laughs> like, like Steve Black passed out on the America tour. Yeah. And uh, Steve Black was the team manager for America, for anyone that's wondering. And he also, like, did, like, Black Flies glasses. He, like, he, ran a bunch of shit. He owned Diaka Watches. Diaka Watches, too. Yeah. And, we're, I, and I'm on this tour. We're all getting drunk and Steve Black. And we're hanging out with chicks and stuff. And it's funny because Dimitri was with us. And, and the girls that we got to come back to our hotel were, like, like bigger girls. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, and that's was the girls that, and, you got? The yeah, bigger yeah. girls? Bigger girls. And like um, Dimitri was funny because he kept singing that Humpty Dumpty song. He's like, hey, fat girl, come here. You ticklish? She kept saying that to them. Shut he was just up. blasting this song and saying this to them. I was like, uh, Humpty dance, yeah, like, dance. Yeah, dance. Hey, fat girl, come here. You ticklish? Like it was just, <laughs> and he would go like this. But, <laughs> but anyways, um, Steve Black got really drunk and passed out. All right. In front of a bunch of other drunk skater dudes. Yeah. So we started like 
drawing with a sharpie on his face. Yeah. You know, drawing dicks and balls and just yeah. shit on his face. And then Tim O'Connor took it to the next level and painted his whole face black. He gave him blackface, dude. Like, not like black? on purpose. He to was Steve just, Black. To Steve Black. So Steve, Steve Black, black blackface. And Steve Black woke up. <laughs> like, he woke up in the middle of the night and just was pounding on our hotel room. And you would look out the little keyhole. <laughs> And he was just, his whole face was black. He said he woke up and his face was just like numb, you know? <laughs> we're like looking through this little, the little people and we're like, no, dude, he's going to fucking kick someone's ass. <laughs> Tim's like, don't let him in, don't let him in. His face was completely black, dude. Like nowadays, like he would have got like canceled. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, it was wild. <laughs> His face was numb. He's like, I woke up and my fucking face was numb and I didn't know what was going on. I looked in the mirror. I wanted to fucking kill someone. Because when you do that to someone and then you have to like get back in the van the next day with them yeah. and like just deal with all. It's so awkward at first, like with everyone. Like, <laughs> But his face was numb because his pores are all yeah. covered. You know what I mean? So it's like, like it was like dicks on his face that just like cover, he wouldn't wake up. So it just covered his face. I think he might have left his like nose white or something. It was like so silly. Old white nose coming yeah. down his <laughs> tree. <laughs> but he was he was like pounding. Oh. <laughs> that was fucking funny, dude. Oh man. Super awkward the next day, but funny <laughs> totally. as fuck. Yeah. Oh wow. Steve Black is one of your menudo buddies. Yeah. Like, he goes. What day you guys go eat menudo? Sun Sunday. Sunday menudo days. Sunday. But sometimes a couple of us, like this past Sunday, everybody was down in Mexico, so we didn't go. We like to plan it when everybody's in town. And we actually either wear like Hawaiian shirts or Pendletons. What are Pendletons? Yeah. Pendletons. Button up. Okay, like, but Pendleton. Up, like your fucking like a flannel. Your cholo flannel shirt. Yeah, yeah. that cholo. You know, just any. I like to call them cholo shirts. Yeah, so yeah, it's either Aloha shirts or cholo shirts. So. so when the white dudes are wearing the Pendletons and they have like the one button up here. And like the black fly glasses, your slick back hair, is that like a cholo thing? Or I don't know. I don't. I don't run that style, so I don't know what you don't, they're going for. You don't. For. You don't no. rock one button. Uh uh. I and go, like a white shirt. I go all the buttons snapped or all the buttons unsnapped. Like a little, little fucking hairnet. No hairnet. Black flies glasses. <laughs> nope. What's up, Holmes? No. Well, <laughs> not my style, bro. Yeah. <laughs> not mine. Uh, but yeah, no, Manila's good. You ever eat Manila? Uh, no, I haven't. It's 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 an, tripe. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm into the tripe stuff. I think it's better if you eat it as a kid, and then uh, you just get used to it. Because that's how I got into it. I had it. As it's a got kid. a weird texture to me. I, I, yeah, I'm does. all about. I try everything. I yeah, love all a, food, but like it's, you should try it again. I yeah, think you I'll would be more again. into it, especially with. Maybe a I got to go to the right spot. Oh yeah, we've tested out quite a few, and we got some good spots. And this is the spot that you guys. Ended yeah, up on. we go. We go to a good one. Now. We got like two or three that we can hit. Yeah, and we want to switch it up just to change the broth a little or yeah. something. But yeah, no, that's good. Love it. You, yeah. yeah, you got to come down sometime. Try it. You can crash in my new pad now that I have an oh, extra yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. You know, get a little nature. Well, I was gonna say get a little nature in you, but you live up in nature too. Yeah, I got. I want to so. go drive your dirt bike, or at least try that. You should. You got to be the dude that's on the trails on your dirt bike, dude. Um, maybe I'll bring it up because your and, area. And then, and then just be like, use the whole fucking like, dude. Like you know, I got small legs. It's hard for me, so I just ride my bike <laughs> <laughs> and just do the trails. <laughs> Just dip, dude. <laughs> dude, that wee man guy's a jerk. He just thinks he can get away with everything around here. Yeah, man. Yep. There was uh. this there was this asshole on stage the other day. He was a uh he wasn't a dwarf, but he was a shorter guy. Okay. And he started like saying shit like, uh, you know, I, I everyone thinks I'm Peter Dinklage, but I'm not. I'm like, dude, you're a midget. Everyone started laughing. <laughs> I'm like that. Those are dwarves, you dumbass. Like, yeah, you're a midget. And all my buddies and all the comics were laughing. I felt bad because, you know, you don't want to call someone out. But he's just he was just dogging little people. Did you kick his ass in the parking lot? Later? No, no. Why but not? He, he because he fucking ran out of there. He was so embarrassed. Like, just it was it was funny yesterday on the podcast when the dude's like, you know, how, like short guys 
have like problems getting chicks and you and I are like, sucks for them. <laughs> It, I think for us it was just different times though. Like it, it, it just I I, I mean no, I'm not gonna didn't... lie and sit here. I got chicks all the time. There, no, I know you know. But like it was just like if you're super good at something and you're really into it. Yep. No matter how, whatever chick it is, they're attracted to talent. Dudes yes. that are like independent make money off doing what they love you know they're attracted to that and like confidence and confidence exactly yeah. and if you're not looking for it that's usually when it happens yep. and that's kind of like was always my case i feel like dudes nowadays are like with the dating app what are you looking for you're looking to plow you're not yeah. looking for anything else nope, you know like, not at all girls know that and Ex so they're gonna state what kind of what is their ideal person which is usually someone that's taller but dude you can win that over oh, you, yeah you know like you just gotta, you just gotta play your cards right. Yeah, you just gotta play, just fucking slide right in. I, I, I remember there was a time when, I, when, when long time ago, when I, where I was always, I, I would be the dude that would like be the wingman for a dude, end up with like not the grenade, but like the, the not the, I don't want to say uh, the uglier friend or whatever. The, and to me, you I never thought of him as the ugly friend. I no. thought of him as a year later, these girls are gonna like. Blossom. Blossom, like a flower, like a beautiful flower that's just going to blossom. And they're yeah. going to remember you. Yeah. And guess what? They always did because I treated them with respect. I treated them nicely. And they yeah. love that. Exactly. Yeah. You didn't go for the nine. You went for the eight. Well, it yeah. was more like the six. So your buddies were going for the eight and you got the six. Yeah, yeah. So, but eventually, next she, year, that girl would turn into the eight or yeah, the nine. Yeah. You know, and there you go. You knew. You had it on. I knew, dude. You're like, she's only going to be cute in high school. Yeah. This girl's going to be a hot Have milf. <laughs> I remember, like, there was a girl in high school, like, senior year, like, there was a girl that was, wasn't was all that hot, but she had her girlfriends that were all hot, and I would just always hang out with her. Uh -huh. This was in San Jose, and I would uh -huh. always hang out with her because she was like... She was like a skate groupie. She always hung out with the skateboarders, tried to skate and stuff. Yeah. And she wasn't any good. <laughs> but, like, she, she didn't take it seriously. And then I left San Jose, moved to, like, San Francisco, was in the East Coast. I went back to San Jose, like, fucking, like, 10 years later. This girl was smoking hot, dude. Smoking hot. A woman. A woman. And she loved me because I always treated her so nicely. I never dogged her out or anything like all my other buddies, you know? Like Nice. And that's what girls remember, I think, you know? Yeah. Like, it was good, fun. Good for you, Punch. Had yeah. a boy. I'm just telling you, man. Like, <laughs> I'm, I don't you know have what any... I'm saying. They blossom. Oh, girls. I know. I'm like, I'm saying I don't have any problem getting ladies, dude. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Simmer down now, soldier. <laughs> well, you Simmer were like, down. you were like, I'm just telling you, Jay. Yeah. Like, all you have to do, and I'm like, don't preach. You're, you're preaching to the choir, bro. But well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I totally get it. Um, we've had some good guests lately. Yeah, I'm very we excited. We we've had we've had some really different good ones. guests, different guests. All Mini of... kiss, that was wild. Yeah, Elmer, Elmer, the the Amish dwarf. Yep. He's a great guy. Oh, yeah. His episode he, is coming out soon. No, it's oh, already, or it's out. already out. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. This is going to come out a little yeah. later. Yeah, his, his is already out. Mini Kids was awesome. Your yoga instructor? Yoga instructor. <laughs> Dude, the shit that that woman talks about is nuts. Yes. I don't understand how you could still go to yoga and take her seriously. Okay, here's here's what happened she the other is, day. She's, don't get me wrong, she's a super pro, but like. Jesus, dude, the story she had. Okay, Fuck me. Check this out. We're in class, and uh, we're doing you know normal yoga stuff. We start doing this move where we're like doing this matrix stuff, like we're in the matrix. Why? That that's what I said. <laughs> but we were doing it, and next thing you know, we go from the matrix stuff in yoga class. In vinyasa, which is like the normal stuff, we go from the matrix stuff to like this stance and then we, like a one-legged stance to a side judo kick. Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, 
where the fuck am I right now? You know what I mean? I thought I was taking yoga, yeah. and now I'm taking karate. Yeah. And I'm like, what is going on? And it was Jessica's class. Wow. Yeah, Jessica I didn't say harder. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a You're being name. creepy right now, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would be the same thing as, like, uh, there was a porn star, a, a man named Rick Harder. That's a porn name. Rick Harder. Yeah, yeah, Jessica Harder. Yeah. Well, depends on you know, you you went straight to sex again, Paunch. I know, I can't help it. Your your mind's in the gut. What other interesting guts? Gus? The you know what I wish we would have done. I'm kind of like I'm mad at myself for not letting it happen. I wish we would have let Mini Kiss dude pull out his cock to show his uh, cross that he said he had on his cock. Oh yeah. You know what I Which mean? Which one was that? That was the... The Akon Dwarf? Yeah, the Akon. That was the craziest one. Yeah. He said he had a fucking cross on his cock. For for people that know what we... what Don't know what we mean when we say Akon, that's our, dwarf, our dwarfism. You'll see it. You'll, you'll, you'll know what well, we're talking about. Yeah, when they've fucking already Fucking cross dick. Cross dick. <laughs> <laughs> we should have let him. You know what I mean? I don't know why we held back. I'm kind of mad at us. What if that. you pulled it out and it was just huge? Red, just like a huge good hog. Good for it. That's like, why he got a cross on it. That's why we. Oh man, see, I'm bummed. I'm bummed too now because we got a little worried. We're like, whoa, dude, five dudes in like here. a dude that imitates five, Trump with a huge hog, and five oh, dudes God. in a circle, and you want to pull your you, cock out. You, if you if you pulled that sucker out, <laughs> those other two dudes, those those dudes would have been so bummed because they would have thought that they had to pull it out. Yep, like all right, dudes. <laughs> Gene Simmons of Kiss is pulling his <laughs> cock out. A mini Kiss. What? What's Ace Freely running with? What's Mini Ace running with? And Mini Cat. I wish that other dude gave the, the the other guys more time to speak. He was kind of like taking Pedro, over the Pedro yeah. of the yeah the fucking Pedro of it. <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> he did take. We're, you were calling him out, dude. Though you were calling him out. We're like, dude, how do you not like Mini Kiss, dude? <laughs> You're like a tall dude, and he was just like, no, dude, shut up. Like. <laughs> That's just my style, though, dude. I have to. I love, like, when I'm in a situation and people are trying to claim shit, that's when I turn it on and I call people out. I I honestly, I loved all our guests that we've had on so far, but the one the ones that I always, like, kind of take more of a liking to is, like, the skateboarders. Like, Eric Dressen's episode was yeah. so good. Just him great. talking about all that stuff is just so captivating, man. It just it, – because you feel it because you, you know that era, you know? Yeah, that was a good era. That was a good, good episode. He was – he was right before us. Like he would, he he hit the spotlight right before. But us. he was like he but did he a held few it. generations he held before it. us, yeah. and he's still going. Yeah, no, still to this day, like people to this day still buy his boards, everything. It's he he runs it. He's he's got it. He knows what to do. Does he make more of a living now off tattoos? No, like is that I his, don't, no. no. I don't even know the last time he did tattoos. Oh, okay. Yeah, he hasn't done tattoos in a long time. Oh, I thought that was his like main job. No, he did that during like a transitional slow time of skateboarding. Yeah. Is when he got into Just that. Think of that. That dude's been skateboarding for over fifty years. Yeah, still going hard. Probably not as hard as he wants to go because his body is like you know like gotten older and stuff. Yeah, but like. That being able to live that lifestyle for that long, like that's fucking great, man. And going through many different companies, but still the same core companies are still putting your boards out to this day. And he's getting product from some of the best companies, too. Yeah. Dog as Cam, far as like Santa vans, Cruz, vans, everything. And, and think of like companies that have like been around and fallen, but the companies that he's ridden for have been around since the beginning. Yep. And he, they're still around. Yeah. That's fucking dope, dude. Yeah. It's been amazing. Uh, I think the best for him. I love it. It's awesome. Um, One of my favorite guests, though, was Gigi was very, she was really good. Yeah. You like she, Gigi? Yeah. She knew what she, you know, she came She's, to the show. Yeah. And she was like, she just knew what to say. Knew how she to was very it, open and brought a lot of energy. Yeah, very open and brought a lot of energy 
to the show. Yes. She'll be a repeat offender. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, yeah. And you she, should work with her more. Like, yeah, no. She's I, doing her own she, production. She does a lot of stuff, man. She she loves me, too, as far as, like, we work. Uh, she's one of those people that, like, she's p- 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 on the production side of things as well as, like, a great actress. But her being on the production side of things is, like, time is money. Yeah. You got to get people that are going to be able to, like, and bring when it. you're doing like low budget stuff, it's like you don't get that many takes. Bring it. You yeah, bring, bring it, it, bring it. So she likes working with professionals and people that she can trust to get the job done and bring life to whatever characters they've created. So it's it, it's really fun being able to work with her. I would love to work with her on, on more stuff. She's she's great. She's her, excellent. Her story reminds me of Elmer's story. Like she was. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? She was from Jersey, right? Yeah, she was from Jersey. Elmer's, you know, Philly, whatever, Pennsylvania. And they both were like, this isn't for me. I got to figure out a way to get out of here. I'm getting out and I'm doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. And they both did it. Like I, those, that's why I'm glad we had like those kind of people on our show. Yeah. Because they bring it. Well, they're, they're like, they're, 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 they, I I think they're they're inspiring. They're They're dreamers. dreamers. They're also inspiring to like everyday people too. Yeah. You know, they're relatable. Yeah, as far as like, well, I don't know if they're relatable. Well, but she's they're, really, really hot, but they're what he's people want to be. Yeah. What do you mean, Elmer's good too? Don't, I love don't, Elmer. Don't throw Elmer into the bus. I fucking love Elmer. Too. Good, like, but no, but it's for like <laughs> most people. They they get a job and they just kind of stick it out, and it's like, ah, oh, this is what I need to do. And they're part of the group of people that are like, no, this isn't what I want to do. I'm gonna go fucking do what I want to do. I like and how you said that. How you you worded it so good. They're dreamers. They are dreamers that like have this dream and, and they they make they it just happen. Make it happen. Yeah. And it's almost like they have to because I feel like even like with and I don't even with like my San Jose friends. Yeah. I I have my San Jose bros that that skateboarded that that came to L A. Yeah. You know, like or, or that 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 always hated L A. L A. is fake. And so they came to L.A. and then they went back home with their their tail between their legs because uh, they're just and they're I call them they're, they're And that's fine. Fucking San Jose is great. But I also think for me, because I lived in San Jose, San Jose is a place that if you don't get out of there, you're going to live there for the rest of your life. It's like, you know San, what I mean? And I, like I just Santa, didn't want that for me. It's like the Santa Cruz people. Oh, absolutely. If, you, if you move to Santa Cruz, if you don't have a plan to move out. You're stuck and it's a bubble. And there's places like that. And that, all I feel over. like Jersey was like that. Yeah. Because your whole family's from there, you know. No one's leaving. Yeah. You're, you're kind of in a rut. You're Especially Elmer. Rut. He, like, he really had to get out. No, he was about it. He that was dude like... was going to be working the vegetable stand for the rest <laughs> of his life, dude. Like if he didn't get out of there. No, he'd be over at the neighbor's house. Oh, with, fixing the fence fixing or Fixing the some fence, shit. drinking a couple brewskis, dude. Yeah. When he said that, I was like. That's my style, dude. I like his style. Like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help Bob over here. It's painting the fence again this time. Well, he that did. was like what his dad would make him do too. No, like, I know, but it was rad. But he he had his little moment. Just a know? crazy like, what a crazy world that like I had no idea about. And when you uh, everyone's seen the episode already, so they know that we we're both like drilling him with questions because we're both like, what 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 what's it like? What is this? We want life. Know like we wanted to know. Yeah. Um, well, Chappelle Lacey was great. Dude. Fuck. That guy's funny. <laughs> Cause, Cause there's been so many. I forgot. Like, yeah. And he was one of my favorites. Yeah. He he and I connected very well. Well, you guys connected with the whole music thing. Music. Like, skating, too. Skating, skating music, music. Yeah. And comedy. We're both yeah. funny. You know what I mean? We had the trifecta yeah. together. I think uh, it was great. We body Because even you. with some of the music stuff, I like music, <laughs> but you guys are on a whole different world of music. Like, you know, like, and you guys are dudes that are like that... I feel like you've always kind of liked a particular style. You know how people go through phases. Oh, I like them. You guys have stuck with it. You yes. guys are like, you know, like it's, it's this our, is my band. They're always going to be my favorite band. It's our anthems. Yeah. These are our anthems. These are the, mu- this is the music we walk into rooms with playing in our heads. You know what I mean? Really? Every, what room do you walk? What, what, what music do you play playing in your head? I, when you like, what are you fucking? If playing? I'm ready to, Bring it down, rain of blood, dude. Oh, Slayer, oh, Slayer, okay. yeah. Or then you got ACDC back in black, yeah. and you just show up, and it's like, dun, 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 
Really? That is awesome. That yeah. I know that about you know because now know when you... I think about it, I'm gonna always be like, I wonder what music Jason's got in his head right now. Oh, you never know. Walking into this fucking Or sometimes I could be suave, dude, and have Sade playing in my head, dude. Ooh, I love Sade. Sade is awesome and you're just walking into a room and you're just you're lady killer, bro. Damn. And the ladies like they're just loving it. You're just smooth operator. Wow. Sm- yeah. Nice. Just depends on the moment, dude. Yeah, we've had some pretty cool guests. Even our guests that we had last season. Yeah. No, I loved everything. What, what did, uh, we had Chaz Bono. That was a good one. Good one. Yeah. Very interesting. Very yeah. different. Very different. Very, very knowledgeable. Like, holy fuck. Like, some of the stuff Ra- I didn't know about. Racing my eyebrows for our fans. Like, yeah. our fans were like, whoa. Yeah. So. But you know what? We got more come. Yeah, more and, coming. And... Uh, it's going to be good. I'm pretty stoked. We have some new ideas about what we're going to do with all oh, the show. new ideas that we have that if they work <laughs> out the way we want, we want it, it could be like a game changer. I think we might be crossing out the little in our title and this is just going to be one big revolution. What call it big revolution? No, you never know. It's just it might big be dick a... revolution. No. There you go again. <laughs> Ponch was the one who came to me and said <laughs> No sexual talk on this podcast. It seems like all we do is go sexual. The whole time, this episode, who got sexual? Oh, God, no. It was this guy right there. Yeah. Old sexual punch. (laughs) Sexual (laughs) molar. Nah, man. Dude, this has been good. What? 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 I would like to know, because we get comments all the time. Oh, this is a good one. On uh, on our YouTube channel and our I'll, Instagram uh, and our Instagram, the Little Revolution. You could always, you definitely DM um, Little Revolution and, and 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 write the comments that you want. Uh, write comments on our YouTube page, Little Revolution YouTube page. But if you really want want to reach out to us, you could always get us on our uh, on our actual Instagram page. I don't know if we'll get back to you right away. We'll try. But if anybody has any ideas for guests that you would like to see us have on our show, we would definitely try our hardest to get them, right? We'll try. But we've, we've come up with some good ones. On I, I thought that's what you wanted, though. You no, I do. You don't want them to? I'm, no, I'm thinking about it, but I, want it, I, don't want, I don't want to be flooded with backyard Joes. You know what I mean? These oh guys, yeah, like like I, hey, get my friend on. Get he, my he, uncle. My he's uncle crazy. is fucking super cool and conservative, <laughs> dude. He'll have a lot to say. He's crazy, dude. You should see what my uncle does. Yeah, yeah. My uncle's got a wonky eye, dude. Get him on, dude. It'll be funny. <laughs> and then they come on and they're like, uh huh, uh, yeah. uh yeah, uh huh, and they're dead. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. ask them a question, they're just like, yes, yeah, no, we don't want those. No, yes, so. All right. What, is it done? Yeah. Oh, we got the five? Yeah. Oh, damn, Mateo. I didn't even <laughs> fucking see you. <laughs> we've been, we've done it. We did this hour. It's, yeah. It was yeah, so no schmoes. No, no schmoes. No Joes and no schmoes. No schmoes and only bros. And some no, bro, no. Bros, brosettes. <laughs> what is a brosette? I don't know. I just made no, it No, just some chicks. <laughs> some and babes. wear something sexy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I got to stop it. (laughs) All right. Ending with, come on, ladies, and wear something sexy. (laughs)